Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss a very basic problem in trees. So problem is binary tree level order traversal. So it's very important. Let's see what the problem is. In this problem, we are given root of a binary tree, and we need to return the level order traversal of it of its node values. That is from left to right, level by level. So what does this mean? See. this tree is given to us and we have to return the level order traversal so what is level this is a level this is a level and this is a level okay so we have to return the level order traversal from that is from left to right that is from left to right so from left to right first of all first at first level what it is this will be a, a vector array 3 then for the second level second level from left to right what nodes are there 9 and 20 so this will be the second level nodes and then for the third level left to right 15 and 7 so this is your level order traversal for this binary tree okay so Uh, let's see how we can do level order traversal how we can get these nodes in this format in this uh, order okay so let me quickly write the tree again so this uh, algorithm is very important in trees uh, a lot of questions a lot of problems which uh, involve level order traversal uh, depends on this so yeah this is a very uh, you can say uh, important algorithm in trees 3 9 20 15 and 7 okay so what see guys we have to do when we have to find the level order traversal level order what we need to do we have to take a queue we will be taking a queue you will understand why we are taking a queue okay so what we will be doing is we will uh, we have the root of the binary tree so this root is pointing to the pointing to 3 so first step is what we have to do in this queue uh, first first step is what we have taken we have taken a taken a queue okay this is a empty queue we have just taken it this is a queue second step is what we will push the root node the root node in the queue now see guys it's very important to understand that we will not push the value of the root node like the value 3 this when i say that i am pushing the root node it means that i am pushing the entire node not the value of the node okay so if if although i am writing 3 here it means that it is a node okay so this node has a value a left and a right okay it's a complete node in this queue right in this queue we have to add the complete node not only the value of that node we have to add the complete node okay make sure this complete node so what will be the data type of the queue we are we are storing a node in the queue right so we will be taking a queue and its data type will be what tree node why tree node because in this queue what we are storing we are storing a tree node okay so first step is what take queue second step is push the root node uh, root node in the queue okay so these are the first two steps after that what we need to do right see now what we have to do we have to this 3 this is what this 3 uh, our output should be what our output is what a vector it is a vector and this is a, a outer outer vector you can say and in that we have different further vectors which store the level order traverse uh, like uh, traversal of each level so this is 3 then for the second level it's 9 20 and for the third level it's 15 comma 7 right so what we will do first of all we will take this outer we will 
declare what we will do is we will declare a vector and that vector will be what vector of it will at each place see at each place there is a further vector okay and the an inner vector has integer value so it will be a vector of vector int okay so this is what this is our outer v this is the main vector which we will return as the output all right so now what we will do for this queue right we have pushed the root node in the queue now what we will do we will pop this root node pop this root node okay uh, let's store it in x so we will pop this root node 3 we popped it because, uh, just remember this is not the value this is the entire node okay so once we have popped this we will see whether this 3 has a left child because for the next time right for the next level we have to add the values so this is the current level after this what will come the next level of this 3 so what is the next level 9 and 20 which is the left and the right child of this 3 all right so when we have popped this node we will check if it has a let's say we will check if x left is there if it is not null that is x left is there there is a node there so what we will do if there is we will push that into the x left we will push in the queue so 9 will get pushed here this 3 is popped out okay this is popped out we popped it similarly we will check if x right is not equal to null this x right is not equal to null so if x is 3 x right is 20 so it's not null so we will push x right also in the queue because it's the next level okay and this 3 which we have popped out we will take an inner vector v1 in which we will store this 3 which we have popped okay the node which we have popped we will store it in the vector and this v1 will be added where try to think this will be added in the v so v dot push v1 okay so 3 will be pushed in the v so this is for one right? this is one iteration for the first level this was for the first level now how we will proceed for the second level that let's see that so for that let's do one thing let me erase this now earlier if you see earlier there was only one node so we just simply popped it out we added the left and the right child but now if you see carefully in the queue there are two nodes and both of these two nodes are the nodes in the second level yes right so we'll have to have a loop so that first we we add the left and right child of this 9 in the uh, in the queue and then we add the left and right child for this 20 okay so what we will have we will have a for loop We'll have a for loop in uh, which we will uh, see how many nodes here uh, how many times we have to pop from the queue so there are two so we uh, two nodes right in the queue what is the size of the queue we will just find out the size of the queue it's two so we will iterate two times first of all we will pop out pop in x what will come this nine this will be popped out okay nine is popped we will check if x nine is left what is nine is left it's null right so it's uh, it's equal to null so we will not push anything in the queue similarly we will check nines x right nines right is what null again so we will not push anything in the queue so this is done and this nine we will add in what this v1 because this v1 is this v1 is representing the current level so nine will be added here now it's the second iteration first of all uh, this was first iteration now it's we go to the for loop and it's second iteration we will pop out what 20 from the queue 20 popped out 20 is left 20 is left is what 15 
and it's not equal to null so we will push q dot push 20 is left which is 15 so 15 will be pushed similarly what is 20 is right 7 which is not equal to null so this condition is true we will push x right that is 20 is right in the queue q dot push so 7 will be pushed here okay so and after that we will add this x in the v1 20 and this we after this for loop iteration is done this v1 will be added in where v so this we get first we get got this and then we got this okay so second level is also done now it's time for the third level and if you see carefully third level is already in the queue right we just need to make a vector and store it in v so same procedure we will do again just see what is the size of the queue size of the queue is 2 again so first we will in the x first what will be pushed out 15 will be pushed out uh, oh, sorry popped out 15 will come here 15 is left is null 15 is left is null so nothing will be pushed in the queue and 15 is right is also null so nothing will be pushed in the queue this 15 will be pushed in v1 now again for loop iteration goes on 7 will be popped from the queue will come here in x 7 is left 7 left is not equal to null no it's equal to null right so this condition is not true it will not push anything right is also null so it will not push anything in the queue and x will be added in the v1 and this v1 will be added in the v so we get this now if you see carefully your queue is empty now it has nothing so when queue is empty it means we can stop and we are done with finding the level order traversal of the binary tree okay so very easy algorithm right very easy algorithm let's quickly see what we have done first step was take a queue take a queue and remember the data type of queue will be tree node because we are storing the node inside it not the uh, value of the node okay second is what we do is we push root node in queue in the queue which we have taken after that we have a while loop we because until the queue is not empty until queue is not empty we will keep on doing our uh, iterations so what we do first of all we find the what is the size of the queue because that many times for loop will iterate okay so we will find queue dot size and we will store let's say it in x we are storing the size and then there will be a for loop or a while loop you can take so that many times x times this for loop will go on and each time we will push out the node from the queue uh, pop out from the queue and again we will check if it has left child so push it in the queue if it has right child push it in the queue after that push that pop node whatever the pop node was push it in v1 vector also here before starting of any iteration right we will take a vector v1 and a final vector v will be taken here outside for each iteration uh, for each you know uh, this uh, level we will take a v1 and uh, that uh, popped node will be added to v1 after the for loop is done all right uh, so v1 will be added here uh, node nodes uh, to v1 will be added here and after for loop v1 will be added to v which is our final vector so if it's not clear just see the code once and uh, after code uh, you can dry run it once it will be become more clear so this is exactly what we have discussed we have taken a vector of vector this is a final vector which we will return here this is a queue pushing the root node in the queue this is just a edge case that if the root is empty just return empty vector because there is nothing in the binary tree otherwise until queue is not empty find out the size of the queue 
take a vector v1 uh, traverse that many times these many iterations will be there because these many nodes are there in the queue we pop out from the queue check the left child if there is left child of that push it in the queue if there is right child push it in the queue at last push the node in the v1 after this while loop is done push the vector v1 into the final vector v and at last we can return v all right so i hope uh, this was helpful time complexity it will be o of n where n is the number of nodes because uh, we are going to each node once and space will also be o of uh, uh, it will be o of n something because we are storing uh, we are taking a queue and we storing it so i hope this was helpful if it was helpful let me know in the comments and if you have any doubts please write in the comments and if you found the video helpful please like it share with your friends subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you